mining, crafting, base building, and automation, and multiplayer. Tectonica's got it all. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at version 0.1 of Tectonica, out on July 18th, 2023. And of course, you can get it with the link down below in the description or on Game Pass when it drops. Yeah, you may have seen this game before on the channel as a demo, but the devs have sent over a key, and they're sponsoring today's video so we can take a tour over the release version, which is pretty cool, I must say. Well, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. If you love yourself, games like Factorio and maybe Subnautica, but also games like Satisfactory. This is a good mix of all of them and has a lot of elements that I like in terms of automation made easy, I guess. I like to do things manually, but it is also nice from time to time to automate things. And of course, when you're scaling up production and having to then move to a new area, it's certainly nice to do. Well, welcome back. Good to see you all here. Again, I will be playing multiplayer on this game sometime in the future. So if you want to see more of it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll be playing with our friends for some more of the story rich environment and a lot of the awesome things that there are to build, including the well, it's known as the Mole, a very cool drilling device, which we'll take a look at right now. So join me. Make sure you smash the like button. Let me know what you like about this game, by the way, at the end in the comment section or just during your thoughts. Let me know if I missed anything or walked past something. And let me know what you're uh, doing today, I guess. What's your plan? All right. Let's jump into our first look at Tectonica. Let's go. We came to this rogue planet to build something that could save our own. Underground, we discovered something beautiful. And a mystery we couldn't explain. And that's where you come in. Humanity is counting on you, Groundbreaker. So am I. Let's get to work. Uh, where? Emergency resuscitation of all personnel initiated. Uh, yeah, I'm alive. Exit this facility and report to production terminal Lima. What? What is it? Is this the production terminal? Your medical status is diagnostic failure. Well, tell me what else is new. Report to medical officer for unknown. Great. All right. Well, welcome to the planet of Calix, or at least uh, deep down below it as we of course are in a really cool looking cave this seems to be some of the equipment we can mine with later now i gotta say i remember this part from the original demo we played and things certainly look a lot nicer than that for sure and of course uh, now that developers have had more time to put into the game itself the story mechanics and gameplay now comes the shiny graphics to where it seems we have the red screen of death fantastic what is this identified the Assembled Nations Industrial Expedition to the planet of Calyx. Ooh, free stuff. I'll take all that. Wait a minute, I was sleeping with all this stuff in my backpack or like in my pockets? <laughs> Iron components, copper frames, mechanical components. Boy, that sounds super comfortable. Oh, hello. I'll pick this up. <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta mine through all this? Oh, it's so slow. Protected area. Wow, there was like an absolute cave-in. Thank goodness we had this uh, little backup. Can I get out of here now? There we go. Oh, hi. Hello? Hi, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, hello, ma'am? Your suit can't transmit a voice or ID signal, but my sensors are indicating you're out there. Yeah, I'm out here. First things first, check in at that production terminal. Ooh. I need a second set of eyes on how badly damaged it is. Hold on, I'm getting uh, some food. I'm, I'm hungry. Is this food? I, I don't even know. Uh, okay, let's go to the production terminal. Uh, Lima. Like lima? Like lima beans? Bro, we're we gonna have veggies? Please service. Repair required. Uh, iron ore and copper ore are required to repair the terminal. This terminal is cooked. Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. Try crafting a few with materials from some of the chests around here. Oh, there's chests? Oh, here we go. Hey! Alright, I'll grab all that. Thank you, ma'am. 
Hey. I can't pick that up, whatever that is. Hey, a bed. Were you sleeping back here, ma'am? Wow, that's a lot of Pepsis. She must be a gamer. Okay, well, let's uh, look around. So she's talking about more chests, huh? Or can I do it from here? Ah, yes, our crafting menu. Cool. So we can craft all sorts of things from conveyor belts to inserters to smelters and more. In this case, I guess we'll craft... Uh, I guess we'll craft the six mining drills. We gotta gather both um, copper and iron ore. And from what I can recall, we put in plant matter. So all this stuff will definitely be necessary to fuel these things. Let's go ahead and do that while they're still crafting. So it's kind of cool. There's an automated process for crafting. If you're familiar with like Factorio or Satisfactory, there's a few things, you know, mechanic-wise that that game does that this one does as well. So if you're familiar with those, well, you're already a master of at least the basics. But, uh, of course, we got ourselves an anti-gravity gun, like an anti-matter gun of some sort. We'll take a look at that in a little bit, but I do remember that, and I was like, whoa, when we first got to play with that. That was nice. All right, let's build a drill. Uh, we got to place it up against the... Uh, Iron ore here. Task inbound. Mining drill. Must be built at an ore vein and fueled with plant matter. That doesn't matter. Actually, it does. Oh, boy. All right, that's going to take a lot of fuel, I can see. All right, I'm going to go crazy on the gathering. Oh, did I fall? I think I fell in a little hole there. <laughs> all right, so let's gather all the things we can. It's certainly beautiful down here. So, yeah, we're, like, in a giant cave, and everything's, like, what you call that? Bioluminescent? It's really pretty. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Subnautica's graphics or style, but, you know, we're on the ground. And, uh, of course, we can terraform a little bit. Uh, we can cut through things, of course, with our pick, but the weapon I mentioned earlier, known as the... I think it's the moss. No moss? Something. Uno moss. Something, something along those lines. It's pretty damn cool. We'll get to it in a moment. All right. Do we have enough fuel? I think this will be enough to get us started. Yeah, we're going to need to definitely gather a ton of that. If we play multiplayer, then, of course, that's when you can uh, convince your friends to uh, help out by gathering a ton of stuff. And that'll be super cool. Now, I do plan to play this on our channel in a live stream, so if you're liking this a lot, make sure, again, you subscribe to the channel for more Tectonica. And, of course, we'll play uh, through the entire game and build some cool factories and stuff, as there's lots to do. More people means some of the mundane work is a little less mundane. You can almost use your friends as, like, AI, you know? <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go ahead and grab some more of this. So iron's going on the other side. Now, eventually, we're probably going to have to make... Now, this is slightly different than the original demo, which uh, you may have played before on Steam as well, as we promoted that previously. And it's a little different than that, but mostly the same, too. I think some of the goals are just slightly different. Here's another one of those broken miners. So this is definitely a deposit of cheese. I mean, copper. Sorry, they, they're so similar. Oh, looks like this is in the way. I don't think I can remove this thing. Can I? Erase mode. No, I can't get rid of that yet. Uh, looks like we can only go with the one drill at the moment, unless that's copper, too. Oh, here's some here. Perfect. Hi there. I didn't see you. All right, we got all three of those going. Sweet. Go ahead and immediately start mining or drilling. And we'll have to keep these bad boys fueled for a little while, so pardon me as I go and grab stuff. But we get to look around at the beautiful water, all the bioluminescent plants. <gasps> Maybe there's animals down here? I don't know. I have yet to take the journey. The plunge. The polar plunge? Now they do that in Minnesota. That's where I'm from. All right, let's go ahead and gather some more stuff here. Is that coal? That could be. Looks like a dead end for the mine. All right, a couple more things to nab. There we go. Oh, I wonder if they grow back. I feel like I would have grabbed some of those. Maybe, maybe they do. Maybe, maybe. All right, cool. All these are going. Let's grab all the stuff we can. They're mining just a little bit. All right. So we needed 15 copper and uh, 15 iron ore, so we can grab the rest of that. Cool. And the last one. Oh, <laughs> that's not mine. That's a broken one. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and drop this off then at the Lima. And we should be done. We have beaten the game. You have beaten the game. No. No, that was just one small step for man. 
Good work getting that ore plugged into the terminal, Groundbreaker. If you weren't on my crew, you should have been. For the next phase of repairs, you're gonna need a scanner. The tech for it unlocked automatically when you fix this thing, so open up your crafting menu and build one. Okay. Warning. Research cores required for activation of new technologies. Refer to tech tree for current core manifest. Uh, let's put this in slot one if we can. We got a, our scanner and our pick now. Task right. inbound. Scanner. Scan machine fragments to restore tech tree access. Sure thing, little buddy. Alright, so we just gotta scan everything around. I'm just gonna go crazy and scan everything. Hey, what are these? Oh, hey, there's free stuff. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, there's more bioluminescent plants. All right, we'll probably need this for fuel. And now we gotta start making copper and iron ingots, and that's going to, of course, take fuel to do that. So we'll need a lot more for the smelter that we're about to build that was on the tech tree. Now, eventually, we can do the basics of mining equipment via inserter to conveyor belt to inserter to smelter and then back to inserter conveyor belt inserter and then container so we can actually store a lot of stuff but not at the moment we're going to use our little uh, remote control see what else is on tv all right press t to open the uh oh we need to build uh, eight of those little cores now so let's see if we can your do that. mining drills won't be able to get you everything you need to build the rest of those research cores oh really situations like these are why we always left chests with backup components kicking around oh okay well i did find a few of the parts ma'am uh how many do i need looks like we need to make seven of those so wow we can make 22. i'll make 12 of those we'll probably have to make more so i could stack them over here. All right, so we're supposed to manufacture these little cores, and this helps us to do research. Research cores constructed. Smelter technology available for activation in Tech Tree. Thank you, sir. I'll craft one more. Now, while that's crafting, we can now unlock the smelter. Technology activated. Proceed with construction of smelter. All right. Hmm. So, it looks like there's two outlets per machine. So maybe we could do a one-to-one. -one. Let's try... We'll do three for this side and three for the other side. So three for copper, three for iron. And I guess we can place them manually because we don't have conveyor belts yet. Task inbound. Smelter. Supply with ore to produce ingots. Requires plant matter for fuel. Alright, cool. Well, you heard him. Plant matter for fuel. Let's go ahead and start splitting the stacks a little bit. If we right-click, we can grab half. There we go. And then you go ahead and start taking the iron ore there. And there. And the last one. Oop, yeah, oh, that one's got lots of fuel. Cool. All right, let's go do the same for the copper side. We can scan everything. Nice. Oh, there's going to be so much to scan. Cool. All right, let's grab the copper. Nice. And let's build those smelters. Oh, this is in the way. There we go. And one more. Très bien. Get the brule. Okay, let's go ahead and put in copper now. Split the stack. And another one. And another one. Okay, so now we need more plant matter. Mm -hmm, these things are hungry. 
But if we're going to do it uh, with the most efficiency for the time being, we're going to need to make a few of these things. Ooh, mushrooms. Those are good on pizza. I like, I like the savory ingredients. But there's nothing wrong with a little pineapple, am I right? Nothing wrong with that at all. Not at all. These almost look like uh, seashells. Okay. Over to the other side. I like how it tells us what we have at the top. We we're grabbing a bunch of seeds, so there could be farming in this if we're getting seeds, or at least perhaps it provides an oil or something like that. Ooh, what is this? Oh, we'll come back here later. That's a part of something else. Well, let's get lost down this tunnel. There could be more supply for us. Ooh, pretty. Trying to gather all this stuff off the ceiling. I think we've been around here before. That's a dead end there. Oh yeah, you can see where I gathered all the plant matter. Alright, let's go back to the copper. And try to split that up. There's certainly a lot more mushrooms up there, but we can only get so high on the walls to grab them without some sort of a jetpack or lift or something. Sorry to keep you fellas waiting. There you go. All right, cool. Ah, perfect. We're smelting already. Hey, we got a good head start here. Let's grab those ingots and go. All right, so we need 20. We have a total of 21. Perfect. And we'll probably have way more for the iron since we started there earlier. Oh, yeah, 54, 52, and 51. Grab some more ore just in case. And we're on to our next step. Not so bad. Boom and boom. Done. Terminal upgraded. New technology and crafting schematics available. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, now they want me to make two containers, four inserters, 30 iron ingots, and 30 copper. Oh, the thing's coming alive. Like getting louder over there. Alright, well, we could do a little automation now. But what we can also do is just kind of do it manually to save us some materials. So we do need to unlock some things. We'll probably need some more cores, right? So we want to unlock the. Uh... Hmm. We have our mining drill unlocked, smelter unlocked. We want to get the long inserter, the speed suit, and also the mass collect. I guess we can get that. Nice. Okay, let's make a few more of these things. And let's go plop these down in our little research area. And one last one. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else we can make. There's our inserters. We need conveyors. Those take... Ah, uh, yes. Another thing I like about this, too, is that it'll make the prerequisite components in order to make the thing you want. So, in other words, in order to make a conveyor belt, it takes mechanical components. And in order to make those mechanical components, it takes copper and iron ingot. So if you've got both of those in your inventory, you don't have to go through and count how many you need of A and B. You just go ahead and grab the raw materials. But it must be the ingots. You can't just have the uh, copper or iron ore on you. Has to be a few more things. Let's see what's on TV. Oh. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some more. These have had a little time to cook. It's almost like we're grabbing bricks. 
made of nice clay. All right, so now two containers. We need 30 ingots. Let's go with the two containers. We need four inserters. And this is, I think, just to teach us how to craft things on our own, and then 45. Now, obviously, we could make a giant... Um, I'm going to just craft all because we'll need them. We could make a giant automated factory here, but we're about to leave this area. So, obviously, we should connect these via a conveyor belt, or we could just use the inserters uh, to grab something out of this machine and put it into the other. So, we could just have it take directly from the mining equipment, put it into the smelter, and then have another inserter grab it from the smelter to put it into a uh, container like that. And then we can just come back later. And, of course, we can make a whole network of conveyor belts that go all the way around everything and bring it back to like a storage area. So it's uh, really easy, as long as you take a little bit of time to do it. All right, let's see, anything else? Oh, of course, always something. All right, do we have everything we need? We are short on a few conveyor belts. That requires a little bit more copper. And it looks like we got a fuel situation here. No, we have a uh, raw resource shortage. That's code 1327-alpha. You know, corporate lingo. All right, let's make a few more conveyors. I think we're making four, no, five at a time. Let's go ahead and toss everything into the computer and we should get ourselves a big old gun. 30 iron ingots. A little bit more copper needed, two more Containers, four inserters, and 45. Let's go grab a little bit of the copper. Copper needs a little bit more love. There we go. All right, we're done. Let's finish up this stage. Boom. Beacons are back online. Inspect the radio console right next to the screen. It'll start beeping and blinking in three... Two, one. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Live sign. Ooh, someone's alive? Access to all local facilities should be restored, including the one I've been stuck in this entire time. Wait, you're here? I've set an unlock code to the door. I've got some tech you're gonna like. And I know you wouldn't dream of leaving without me anyways. Well, hell no. I mean, if I got a friend, let's go. I'm gonna bring these with, though, because, you know... Not only do they have resources in them, but also we're going to use them in the next location we go to. Follow the beacon to the secured facility. Hmm. Scanning. Ah, this place. Well, good thing it didn't flood with all this water here. Sending that signal is more complicated than you think. I don't know why, but these computers feel like second nature now. Sort of the opposite of what I remember it being like. I'd be the one to get you out of a situation like this, instead of the other way around. But I'm not giving up. That's how I know it's still me in here. You'll see. Still me in where? Is that you, ma'am? Are you the, are you the, the crate? I need the materials, please. going down Hey, it's a person. Casualties detected. Oh no. Was it, wait, are you dead, ma'am? What? You never seen someone stuck inside an alien cube oh, next to their wow. own dead body before? No, I have not, ma'am. Whatever I was trying to do here, I'm going to take a wild guess and say it didn't work out. Hopefully, it was worth a shot. Let's go. That is Soma in a nutshell right there. That is awesome. Um, hello, uh, cube com <laughs> companion cube. I'm uh, going to grab whatever's in here. I hope she doesn't mind me stealing. Looks like there's some advanced stuff in here. Okay, no, nothing else here. Well, it's a pretty substantial laboratory here. She must have been uh, 
I guess medical team or science team or something like that. Maybe maybe she was the one who was in charge of the med bay. Cube ma'am, I need answers. Can I shake you around and like an eight ball? Can I have pizza tonight? Not likely. Ah. Well, it's mostly because it's like too late. They're closed. All right, whatever. Let's uh, get out of here. Will anybody watching hit the like button? You bet. Wow. All right. Thanks. Stop. Oh. Scan the fragment in that cage by the stairs before we go. We'll need that tech to get out of the sector. Oh, I thought you were just mad about my cheesy plug. What is this? Ah, the mole. That's the name of it. Yes, that's our drilling device. And what is this? Upgrade module scanned. Additional tech tiers or cores may be required. Open tech tree to review. Ah, oh, right, those little jump drives we can get to upgrade our gear. All right, let's go back and make sure we didn't miss any of those. So the mole, that's the drilling device that's really cool Local in this game. signal deciphered. Sector headquarters. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Hey, all the stuff grew back. Sounds like the terminal is fully rebooted. Check the radio console again and see if the beacon it adds to your HUD gives us a clear path home. I was quite impressed initially at all the things that they would allow you to uh, mine in this game and how they would let you do it. There's got to be more around here somewhere. I'm sure I missed some, but we can always come back. Hi there. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Production terminal, Victor. Breaker, this is the time to activate the mole in your tech tree and build one. We won't be able to cut through to Sector Victor without it. Uh, okay. Crank generator and basic construction. Science. Ooh, light sticks. Oh, we can make that stuff now, too? Cool. Ah, there's what we're looking for. The mole. The claw. All right, so we need seven more of those little thingies, right? Do we need seven free? I'll make a bunch of those. I believe there's different colored cubes that we need to make in the future. So not only do we have to like kind of make these things, we kind of have to store them. They'll just take up space. But, you know, you can kind of treat them like nuclear waste. Just put them in a wall, bury them, and it'll be somebody else's problem eventually. Job well done. Shake, shake. Just for luck. All right, let's make the mole and see if we can go down there where she wants us to. So we've got to unlock it now. Nice. Ooh, a flatten mode for the mole. Or more speed. I got to get 70 of those things. All right, well, I can't make Task that many inbound. now. Mole. Manipulates terrain for traversal and composition of industrial construction sites. Okay. Water's like filled with fireflies. There we go. Hell yeah. This thing is awesome. It slices, it dices, it drills and thrills. It is the mole. Bulletin. This mole is not authorized to destroy resources, critical infrastructure, or protected environmental areas. I'm the juggernaut. I never got the chance to thank you for getting me out of that facility. I appreciate it. Oh. At the time, it seemed like the best thing to do was focus on work and not get caught up in thinking about anything else. I've tried to stay sharp for both of us, but now that we're almost back to the main line, I'll admit it. I was terrified. It'd be good to see some friendly faces and a few thousand twinkling lights. I'm sure you've got people there, too. Can I go down? Seems like if I can get down to this river, we can just take the river all the way to the next area. Man, this thing's cool. If 
I could get down to this river, we could just take it all the way to where we need to go. Alright, well, I think they want us to take this way then. There we go. Well, that was easy. Wait. Back the way I came. No wonder it was easy. <laughs> I gotta go back this way. I got all turned around. Oh, here we go. Oh. Ooh. I don't know how to crouch. Let's add our gun to the new slot. Let's do three on that one. There we go. I like how it cranks up. Your transmission on a car. Cool. Free stuff? the size of a city is supposed to be here it was right here I know it was where is everybody Ooh, look at all the new stuff okay all right yeah you're right ma'am yeah where's your friends Where, where's all of the peeps or I guess our friends, since we might be working for the same company. Ooh. More free stuff. Now that you've got a core composer, all you need is a big enough power floor and a few crank generators to power it. After that, you'll be able to dump cores into it and never worry about placing them one at a time again. Task inbound. Core composer. Supply with research cores via belts and inserters for automatic placement and availability. Wow. Use the mold to locate and inspect the Victor terminal. Okay. Still need to touch this. There we go. Ah, oh, we just need 500. Wow, okay. Well, that's going to be quite the goal, actually. That's going to be a lot of drilling, smelting, and then filling up this box. Drilling, smelting, and filling. Cool. This terminal is trying to reach out to a hundred facilities that might not exist anymore. If we can repair it, we might be able to decipher where those facilities are located. Our people are out there, just like we were. I wouldn't ask you to rebuild this sector for the expedition, but I will ask you to do it for them. The faster we get on these signal and repair objectives, the better our chances of finding them will be. Have a look at some of the new stuff on your tech tree. Keep your eyes out for fragments, and let's get to work. Deciphering this first signal by building power floors looks simple enough. I'm sure it won't be that many. I'm pretty sure. Okay, what's a power floor, ma'am? I don't know what that is. All right, let's build a power floor, I guess. Uh, do we have to research that? Maybe under transportation? Ooh, a better tool belt. Basic construction, that seems interesting. Or mass collect, okay. Task inbound. Power floor. Build to establish structural foundation and conduct electricity from crank generators. Why thank you, robot friend. 
I do appreciate the uh, times two size belt at the bottom of the screen too, by the way. There's like two hot bars. Gives you access to a lot of stuff without having to open an inventory. And if you do, it's just an easy click and drag. That purple stuff. All right, so. Uh, so the main goal is to make 500 ingots. Then we need to build the core composer. We've got to research that, so we need 85. Oh, boy. Uh, decipher the signal by crafting and placing an unknown number of crank generators. Well, I have a feeling we're going to be here for a while. Whoa, is this everything we got to do? Oh, a lot of this is completed. So we just got to do what's here. Oh, that's kind of cool. It tells you when you receive the objective so you know how much time you've got left. Not how much time you have left, but how much time since when you got the goal... Uh, that it took you to complete if you want to. All right, let's find iron. We gotta go find that stuff. We need iron, we need copper. And anything else. Well, there would be our copper. Wait a minute, I can hold... Oh, that's the mask thing I unlocked. Although it's not really... Hmm. I guess I should do it one at a time. Working a little differently than I was hoping. Okay, so now we've learned from the last time that we can just build conveyor belts. We can connect it, of course, up to the main machine, but it'll probably just be better to just make a box and just store it there. We've got a long way to go anyway, so let's get these out of the way. We'll start with the copper. And, of course, these will be useful for all the energy needed to smelt. Okay, so let's build three of these if we can. Uh, maybe one of these if we can. I, I don't know if it's actually gonna perfectly work here. Let's try to maybe make a flat surface. Ah, we're not allowed to do that. But I can do this. There we go. Big brain. Hopefully that one works too. We'll see. Ah, perfect. Now the smelters, please. And now we'll get to see a little bit of the automation. Oh, yeah. Out of the way. It's a really slick system, though, to be able to terraform like that. It's very satisfying. Very nice. Nope, not the container. The smelter. Now, if I put these two away and put down an inserter. Task inbound. Inserter. Oh. Use inserters to transfer items between machines and conveyor belts. Gotta be a little closer, I think. And I think we'll do two. Because these things need a lot of materials. And they can smelt very quickly. So no need for a conveyor belt just yet. So we want our smelters.
Excellent. Now, I think these can hold, I don't know, 100 ingots or so. We can come back and check on these later. Now the inserters are grabbing everything. That would be the way to put it onto and take it off of conveyor belts as well. Oh, I see shiny. What's that? Ooh. We'll have to collect more of those to get more recipes. Clean up our work area a little bit. Love the music in this game, too. This would be great to play other games as well. This is the, an example of a game where even if I weren't playing this at the moment, I would want to listen to this soundtrack in another game. So very good uh, vibes for this music. Certainly a game where you want to be optimized to organize, but it should be rather relaxing. And there shouldn't really be any sort of pressure to, like, you know, the factory must grow, but you let it grow however you want. No rush. The factory must grow. No rush. <laughs> All right. Now, hopefully that works. Let's put down our inserters. Our fuel. Now our smelters. And more fuel. So yeah, imagine when things get more complicated in that tech tree when we're doing things uh, on a much higher scale. And of course, there's not only just a high tier tech tree, but also several categories from terraforming to transportation, energy science, logistics, and of course, upgrading your character too. So a little bit of a RPG type thing where of course you can level up, but you gotta gather all the materials. What is this thing? Is that another inserter? Or is that an extendo? Long inserter. Ah. Well, you'll have to tell me and a timestamp down below if I missed anything that I can scan at this point. Uh, something important like long inserters or other smelters, that kind of thing. I'm sure I missed something by now. Did you notice anything else? Might have to go back and check, actually. It's actually kind of hidden in the tall grass like the raptors, you know? Dangerous. Raptor in, a tall, in the tall grass. All right, shouldn't take too long for these guys. Now, of course, we can exponentially increase on the mining here by trying to mine around it, but by the time that's done, we should have it. All right, another, another goal is to build and place a core composer on the power floor with advanced or activated crank generators, and then we need to decipher. So I, I think we should do things in order, really, since we've gotten started on that. All right, so let's go back to our copper mine. Let me see, can we... Oh, here we go. Task inbound. Assembler. Power with electricity to produce items in multiply quantities. Ooh. In other words, even though you can handcraft anything, assemblers will make two of them in the same time it takes your portable tool to make one. And we can build a thousand assemblers, but nobody could ever build another you. Oh, thank you, ma'am. You're so sweet. Really. I'm, I'm touched. And one more. Alright, and let's take out our little bricks. A.K.A. our copper. And we're up to what? Let's see. So we've got 204. Well, we're almost halfway there. And 40 for the iron. So we've got a little ways to go, but... Still pretty good. Now, if we start building some of the stuff they mentioned, like the assembler, it'll take a little bit of our materials. But that could be, after we get the uh, iron ingots and copper ingots done, a good thing to find an area to set that up. I'm going to keep gathering more fuel, but it should be somewhere between these two. So maybe, well, right here would be a good spot, I suppose. Is What is this material? Is this limestone? I wonder if we could take a sample. Oh, it says right there in the lower left corner, limestone vein or rock. Okay, that's cool.
So if we want to, we can flatten this whole area out and build an automated factory and have our conveyors come over. Can't go any further that way. You know what we can do? We could take some of this. It looks like we're able to mine it faster than we can smelt it, so we could make some manual smelters too. Just to help them out real quick and then make a little more permanent setup. Ooh. Oh, I thought these were. Metal. I gotta be on the lookout for metal too. Anything that's like the long inserter. Oh, looks like that one's grabbing it fast enough. Okay. Alright, so what do we got for. Oh, let's sort. Ah, yeah, okay, so we got a lot of stuff. So let's make a few more smelters. And we'll have our own little manual setup. Even in these games with automation, I like to make kind of my own little manual area to do things myself. So that way I can kind of just, every once in a while you just got to make a small amount of something. And it's always a good idea to just have something on standby. So that way you can craft it yourself rather than having to go into your automation and reset things. Little workbenches, for example. Alright, well, we've got conveyors here, so we could connect this way, but I'll just build some smelters down here. Build a container there. I'm gonna be like Harry Potter, I'm gonna live under the stairs now. There we go. We'll throw copper in there, iron. more copper some more iron and we'll go back and check on our other stuff so imagine this in co-op you could have somebody in charge of iron somebody in charge of copper somebody in charge of like designing the conveyors everybody's got their own weaknesses and their own things that they specialize in and things that they like to do and don't like to do and if you can balance the workload with friends that's pretty cool especially when it's of course going to be on game pass so if you've got that It'll be a great way to experience that. Or keep it forever with the link down below for Steam. And or add your wishlist. Very powerful, by the way, to add things to your wishlist, too. You never know. Something could go on sale or get a major update, and then suddenly the game that you were really interested in becomes irresistible. Like for me, that'd be chocolate. Dark chocolate. It's pretty irresistible as well. Ah, oh, the music again. All right, let's go back up here. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, that was like an auto duck system when we go into the chair. Uh, I mean, the stairs. All right, anything else we can get you? Nope, looks like that's done. All right, we got a ways to go with the ingots still. But we have a lot for copper already done. And a little bit for iron. So the whole manual method is working just fine. Take half that and pop it in here. Alright, back to check on our precious again. I wonder if there's more deposits. There's got to be more to explore too and scan. There Got to be more to do in this area. Let's go look around a little bit. We'll let those, uh, you know, smelt now. We're, we're pretty much on the way to getting that done. But let's go explore some more. Ah, more copper in here, too. All right, so we definitely could make some mining equipment here and then have the conveyors bring it out into a centralized area. 
So build some miners there, build some miners here, connect them all to storage boxes on this side. We jump on these lily pads, no. But we can a little uh, scan and a little grab. Pretty waterfall too. There's gotta be a secret behind there. It's like legally obligated to be a thing. I think that's back where we came from. And there's the waterfall. And the secret cave. Ooh. Well, isn't that pretty? Oh, we coming out on top of the waterfall? Oh, just next to it. We looped back around. No secret behind the waterfall. Oh. Yeah, maybe. We still got our awesome mole that I think I called the moss before, the Moses. Something. The Noah's Ark. <laughs> ah, there's much more to explore. Look at that. Looks like these are areas we haven't been to before, so anything with the grid might be something to go take a look at for another time. Hi, what are you looking at? Well, that's just a short little sampler as to what Tectonica has to offer. I like a lot of things about this game, and I really want to give it a shot with friends as it is a little bit more story-rich than your typical sandbox, hey, build a factory and have some fun. I like the elements of kind of an open space as we got to some of the larger areas to build a base and complete goals, and then move on to build the factory again and again, bigger and better each time you move on. Kind of interesting to be able to pack things up and head out to other areas and then eventually discover more resources. There's a lot more to this one than we were able to see today. So if you want to see more, again, smash that like button, become a subscriber, turn on that notification bell, and join me live for more Tectonica and Tectonica multiplayer sometime in the future. Hope to see you all soon again. Check down below in the description to grab this one for yourself today. Get it on Game Pass out on July 18th, 2023. And uh, yeah, thanks to the devs for sending over a key and letting me take you on a little journey under the planet's surface. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.